Charles Barkley absolutely tore into the Boston Celtics. So what we want to do is we want to play exactly what Charles Barkley had to say about these, these damn Boston Celtics. And then we're going to come back and react to his comments. T t just take a listen to what Charles Barkley had to, had to say there. Take a listen to that. Meantime, Jimmy Butler, first half. Give me your impressions of what he's been able to do. He's got 11. I thought he was good, but I got to say something, man. Why he dumb selfish make making my head hurt? Ernie, <laughs> let me tell you something. Glad I asked you about Jimmy Butler. I know, I but I, I can't let it go, man. I because know, I know. You got, if you just come to the game and say, we're just going to jack up threes, and if we win, we're going to win. If we miss them, we're going to lose. They're 4 for 21. They probably, I forget what they were in last game. 7 for 35. They, I mean, it's, it's, it's so bad to watch them play. There's no ball movement. There's no body movement. And it's just frustrating watching a team with this much talent just play stupid. Yeah, they missed their first 12 threes. Is that uh, the entire story on the Boston side? What else you got, Shaq? What happened to the Celtics tonight? Well, the, number one, they, they, they play bad basketball. They're so undisciplined and unfundamentally sound. They, they win games strictly on talent. They, they, don't, they don't even run on offense. Uh, that, that's what disappointed me the most. You know, you can win a lot of games on just talent. But when you, against the zone, they just settle for jumpers. There's no ball body movement. Same thing I said at halftime. I mean, listen, you just come out. I don't even know what the final stats was. Yes, I do, actually. Nine of 42. <laughs> Nine for 42. 21.4%. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Six, 16 for 77 yeah. the last two games. Listen, they play what we refer to as hero ball. Game seven, excited. They wanted every play to be pretty kitty. They wanted to shoot the three. They, they, they were actually trying to get the crowd involved, but when they went zero for 10. To start the game. To start the game. That should have. Actually, zero for 12. Yeah, zero for 12. In that should have the told them. Quarter, yeah. That should have told them, hey, settle it down. Let's get the, you know, pace the game back in our favor. Let's take high percentage shots and let's take the wide open shots. This is the thing about the Celtics. Like we said, we never know how they're going to play. This is one of the most inconsistent, talented teams I've ever been around. You got two guys who are all NBA. You got the defensive player of the year. You got the sixth man of the year. And in the last month since the playoffs started, a couple games you say, what the hell happened against Atlanta? What the hell happened against the Sixers? And then you come out here and you get down three zip with the first two games at home. Then you play two magnificent games. Then you really play three magnificent quarters. Then you try to choke game six away. I'm not, I mean, I'm surprised. I'm shocked that Miami won the game, but I'm, and I'm not shocked they won the game. I'm shocked they won by 20. Yeah, exactly. So you heard uh, what Charles Barkley um, had to say. He basically called the Boston Celtics a clown show, right? A, a, a total clown show. Which is exactly what they what they, what they play like. So let's just go over this uh, for a quick second. You're watching that game, and I'm actually trying to pull up the Boston Celtics stats, but for whatever reason, um, none of the, none of the websites are loading. But 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 anyway, the Boston Celtics. If you listen very care carefully to what Charles and uh, Charles Barkley said, he said, "Once you go 0 of 10 from the three, or once you go 0 of 12 from the three, one would think, okay, let's try to mix it up a little bit. Let's do something different. Let's switch it up. Let's do something different. Not the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics, instead of thinking the basketball game, what they decided to do was double down on something that wasn't working. 